Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and watch OS 6 has been released. So in this video, I will show you guys the top 15 new features and changes of the new watch OS 6. Starting off with the redesign of the list view on the home screen. Now, if you have an Apple watch, you know that on the home screen, you can have a grid view, which is this one, which is still the same, or you can have the list view, which now has been redesigned. You will have much bigger icons and bigger text. And in my opinion, it looks way better. There are of course a few new watch faces, so if you go to your watch faces, you will see here there's one called California, then you will have this modular compact one, this solar dial, then you will have this gradient one, this is very cool, also you will have the numerals one, so you will have the numerals duo, and also another one called numerals mono. There are also a lot of new complications on the Apple Watch on Watch OS 6. So when you go to change your complications, you will find a few new ones with Watch OS 6, like for example, this one for the calculator. And then you will find also other new ones like cycle tracking. That's a new one as well. Also, audiobooks should be here somewhere. Here it is, audiobooks. This is another new one. And then we will find a few new ones. So let me just find them right here this one is for the noise so it measures the noise on the ambient this is a new one as well and then you will find also one for the rain which is this one right here and of course also voice memos it should be somewhere in here so let me just search for that so here we have voice memos and also you will have another one for the wind on watch os 6 apple has brought the app store to the apple watch so you go to your apps open app store and here you will have it here are a few featured apps and of course you will also have a search bar right there to search for your favorite apps siri also has been improved a lot on watch os 6 now siri can open websites on the apple watch openapple.com i found this on the so right here, it will show you the result. You can tap open page and you will see right here, it will show you the full page on your Apple Watch. That's really, really cool. Let's just wait for that to load. And as you can see, here it is, the Apple website right here on the Apple Watch. There are also a few new apps on Watch OS 6. This one, the calculator app, it is basically the iPhone's calculator app on the Apple Watch and you will have here all the features that you have on the calculator on your iPhone. And you can also go ahead and calculate your tip right there. Very, very useful feature to have. The noise app is also a new one on Watch OS 6. Basically what it does, it will measure the noise on an ambient. When you're on, you just go ahead, open the app and it will measure the noise. So you can see right here, it does the work, it's very accurate. This has been tested and it is really, really accurate. Audiobooks is also a new app on Watch OS 6. So here it is, you will have here your library, you have the stuff that you have on your iPhone. Basically, you will have your audiobooks right here on the Apple Watch without needing to use your iPhone. And this has been requested for a long time, the Voice Memos app is on watch os 6 apple has brought the app to the apple watch and it is really really useful so the app is very simple to use you open it you tap right here to record a voice memo when you're good to go you just tap the stop button and you will have your recordings right here down on down the button you will see your recordings right here as simple as that another new app on watch os 6 is the cycle tracking app so you will have it right here of course you will have to connect it with your health app and you will have your cycle app right here on your apple watch as on the iphone on ios 13 as well as on the apple watch the reminders app has totally been redesigned you will see right here the reminders app it looks totally different you will have here today you will have you will have also here your scheduled and all right there you will have all the reminders here and of course you can go ahead and add reminders as easy as this the activity app on watch os 6 allows you to view awards right here on your apple watch so just go ahead and just swipe here to the last page and you will have your awards right here so this hasn't been here before on watch os 5 you had to use your iphone to view your awards now with watch os 6 you can view them right here on your apple watch on watch os 6 you can use an emoji stickers you know apple is big on an emoji and they have put the an emoji stickers right here on the apple watch so 
when you're typing like a message all you gotta do is just go to the emojis right there just scroll down and you will have your any emoji stickers right here and of course you can use any one of them on any of your iMessages. On the iMessage app on Watch OS 6, now you can mute conversations. All you gotta do is just swipe on a conversation and you will get that little button, just tap right there to mute any of the conversations. And you will see that little moon right there, which indicates that that conversation is muted. You can now easily calculate tips with your Apple Watch on Watch OS 6. All you gotta do is just basically type right there the amount and then just tap on tip and it will show you right there the tip. So you tap right there and you will see the tip you will have here people. So you change the amount of people and right there you can change the amount of tip and it will show you right here how much you will have to pay for the tip and then based on how many people you are it will show you how much each has to pay. Something new on Watch OS 6 is that now you will have the ability to delete some of the stock apps of Watch OS. So you will see right there some of the apps can be deleted from the Apple Watch. Now this use hasn't been here before. Now it's here with Watch OS 6. You can see the timers right there, the breathe app, the camera app, all can be deleted even though they are stock apps on Watch OS 6. On Watch OS 6, if you go to the settings app and you go to the clock section, now you will have here an option to enable chimes. Now what this does is that every hour it will play a sound and also make a vibration on your Apple Watch. So every hour it will do that. And if you go to sounds right here, you will have different sounds to choose from. The music app on Watch OS 6 has also been enhanced. Now you will have here a new view, a redesigned view right here on the now playing section. So you will see new controls right there. Also, if you go to up next, this has been also been redesigned a bit. And also if you go to the options, you will see also here a redesign, which looks really, really cool. The alarm app has also been redesigned. The button here to add an alarm has been completely redesigned. It looks much better. Some of the biggest changes on Watch OS 6 have happened in the settings app. We have a few new sections and of course a lot of things have been organized as well. Now scrolling down here you will see a new section called accessibility. Apple did the same with iOS 13. They have put a new section on iOS 13 called accessibility. Of course that used to be under general which was the same case right here on the Apple Watch. Now it has its own section right here. The same goes for Siri. Now Siri has has a section on the settings app and we also have two new ones right here we have SOS and also privacy these are also two new sections on the settings app you can now go to Bluetooth and from here you will have the ability to turn on or off the Bluetooth of your Apple watch if you go to your Apple watch go to your settings and go to sounds and haptics now you can enable volume limit and you can set the volume limit from here using this slider on the same section on settings on sounds and haptics you also have the option to enable or disable the crown haptic feedbacks. On the settings app if you go to the new series section now you will have this option to enable or disable press digital crown to launch Siri so you can launch Siri from here you have this option now you have listen to his Siri rise to speak and also press digital crown which now can be enabled and disabled directly from the settings app and scrolling down here on the Siri section now you can change the language of Siri on your Apple watch you can do the same with Siri voice you can go ahead and change it right here on the Apple watch that's very very nice to have and also if you go sc scroll right here at the bottom you have use with Siri if you go right here we'll have a list of apps if any of the apps that you have on your Apple watch use Siri then they will be listed right here and you can enable or disable Siri from for them directly from here and a really really huge update and a very nice feature to have is under general so if you go to general you will go here and you will see software update now you will have the option to check for software update directly from your apple watch you don't have to use your iphone you will have the software update right here under settings under general just like you have it on your iphone on the general section of the settings app now you also have background app refresh if you go here you can enable or disable background app refresh 
for all the apps or you can do one individually one by one right here so it will have a list of all of your apps and you can basically choose for which you want to leave on the background app refresh and for which you want to turn it off also on the same section you will find handoff and you can go ahead and enable handoff directly from here basically just move that switch to enable or disable handoff and lower here we'll also find dictation so if you go right here you can do the same enable or disable dictation directly from there and something i really really love about watch os 6 is that now screenshots can be enabled or disabled directly from the settings of the apple watch so you probably know you just press both of the buttons and it will take a screenshot of your apple watch and send it to your iphone before before i watch os 6 you had to enable this option from your iphone you couldn't do it from here from the apple watch so that's really awesome and you will see also here a new section called profiles so i have the watch os 6 beta profile installed and i can view it and i can also remove it directly from here so you can see remove profile you don't have to remove it from your iphone you can do it directly from the apple watch that's really really nice and let's go back once more we have another section right here we have usage so you will see right here the uses uh, usage of your apple watch so you will see right here storage used available and then you will see all of your apps and see which of them is taking more space on your apple watch under usage you will find reset if you go right here you can go ahead and reset the home screen layout of your apps on apple watch on watch os 6 as easy as that you can do that directly from the settings app of your apple watch on watch os 6. as i said at the beginning the settings app on watch os 6 has been totally redesigned and you can find now under clock you will find the time right here so if you want to change the time on your apple watch you will have to go to settings not go to general but go to the clock section and here you will find the time under the passcode section on the settings app now you will have the option to enable or disable simple passcode so enable or disable it directly from here also you can enable erase data so right here if you enable this the apple watch data will be erased after 10 times of failed passcode so someone tries to open your apple watch they enter the passcode 10 times incorrectly everything will be deleted that's on your apple watch so that's pretty much it for this video guys this is watch os 6 the new software for the apple watch a very very great update a ton of new features so i really hope you enjoyed this video so go ahead and subscribe for more apple watch videos and i'll see you guys on the next one